So this is my snow dog that I purchased a little over a month ago. I bought it, uh, I live in Northwest Ontario. I bought it at uh, KC Auto, which just, was just a little bit outside of uh, Thunder Bay, Ontario. And uh, I bought the 13 horsepower model. Uh, if you look in here, you can see 420 cc's it says right there. And um, I decided to get the bigger one uh, with the camo here. Uh, they, there's also smaller ones like a 10 horse and I think a 7 as well, but uh, I want a 13. So I'm going to talk about some of the features of it. Uh, first of all, there's a storage area in the back here. Uh, the snow dog is 24 inches wide, so that's almost 2 feet wide there and actually almost 2 feet long too. So you can put a fair bit of stuff there. You see a little bit of snow in my machine I was using yesterday. I was doing some ice fishing. And so let's go back to the uh, handlebars here now. So. This is the uh, this red switch right here. That's the kill switch. So uh, that's off and that would be in the run position now. This is the headlight. So if you look in the front there, in fact, I'm going to turn my lights off in my garage here and let's turn that back on. So I don't know if you can see how, you know, how this come out in the video, but uh, well, it does provide quite a bit of light. Uh, I've been out at night a few times, two or three times already. Lights up the trail pretty good, no problems at all to, to see. Uh, also on the handlebars uh, right here, uh, this is the uh, starter. So let's actually uh, start it up. I'm, I'm inside here, I'm not going to run it very long. But uh, right in here, um, we have the, uh, the choke. So that's on, uh, that's on full choke now. So let's go back up here and give it a go. So we're in run. So it does uh, it does idle fairly low. Uh, I'm used to. Uh, in fact, I'll kill it here now. Um, I'm used to driving a snow machine. When the first few times I started it. I was thinking, gee, that's going to stall because it, it idles so low. But it's a four-cycle engine instead of two cycles, so uh, that's why uh, it does idle a lot lower. Uh, also on the handlebars here, of course, uh, uh, we do have the throttle on, on this side. And uh, another kill switch like you have on your outboards is right here, too. Uh, and, of course, this is the brake. Now, there's a little button right here. So... If I pull the brake and leave that on. So that's the parking brake. And if I go to pull on this now, it's not going to go anywhere because the parking brake's on. So I'm going to pause and turn that off. Now, uh, a little bit more. I'll talk about the debugging uh, at, the, at the end here. Um, so uh, on the top here, uh, this, is, uh, this is where the gas tank is. This is the opening and the cover to the gas tank. So there's the gas tank. I think it's about a seven liter tank. I think it's like a gallon and a quarter or three quarters uh, US. And then uh, this is the opening in the front here. So you can uh, see into the, uh, well, the engine, there's the clutch. Probably see a little bit of the belt there. And, uh, and that's the disc brake. There's also, actually when a lot of people run these, especially when it's warmer, you unzip that all the way back there. Uh, it's air cooled, so what a lot of people do is they'll zip it like that, and then it holds that right open, so you get lots of air in here. And uh, I'm going to pause for a second here. And the reason I wanted to pause, I wanted to throw uh, my headlamp in there so you could see. Uh, there's actually an ignition key right in here. I don't know how much you can see. Uh, my finger's on it right now. You probably can't see that too much. Uh, it's just uh, the other side of that white, uh, the wire there with the red on it. I'm going to stop and take it out. So there is the ignition key. Uh, it comes with two keys, so I, I took one off and left mine, uh, the second one in the house. So if you put it in here, you can see what I'm doing here. Any little quarter turn or maybe an eighth turn uh, to, uh, to lock it in place so it will run. Um, and of course, uh, here's the, the headlight. Um, what else we got here? Oh, and of course, here's the, uh, the track in the front, 20 inch wide track. Uh, there you can see the, uh, the chain there as well. Um, and all the wheels. 
uh, for it also. There, you can actually get a slider kit for them, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, I'd like to be able to use mine at the end of the ice fishing season when there's still lots of ice, but uh, not a lot of snow. We also have a, uh, well, a mud flap or a snow flap in the back here, so not so much snow flies up from the back of it. And here's a toboggan. I bought two toboggans, actually. Just I got the one seat at KC Auto. They sell a toboggan with a seat with it. Um, of course, the nice thing with the, the seat, of course, is it'll swivel. So if I want to sit over there and ice fish when it's warmer, I can. And uh, that folds down for when you're traveling. Uh, on the back, there's the hitch for... I bought a second toboggan, too. And there's uh, one of these uh, links that uh, you can connect the second one. There's a metal frame all around the bog in there, so. And uh, also, uh, just want to show how this uh, flips over, I guess. So when you flip that over, um, you have uh, basically a machine with one of the toboggans off uh, that's only 58 inches long. So it's two inches short of uh, five feet. So, you know, it fits easily in the back of a pickup truck or uh, a lot of SUVs as well. And uh, here's a view from uh, from the left side as well. Uh, oh, and I went, forgot one other thing. Uh, here's, uh, that's, uh, the, that's the battery right down there. Of course, it has an electric start. And in here you can see the, uh, the clutch and the belt as well. Uh, they come with, uh, or you can buy a, a spare belt. I think I paid 40 bucks for my, so mine, so a lot cheaper than uh, for a snow machine. And I think that's pretty much it.